Male hummingbirds use another lure to attract a female. Iridescent feathers. Look at them one way and they're dull, black or brown. But when the light hits them just right, those feathers shimmer. As usual in the bird world, it's the males that really shine. Their names often reflect their flashiest attribute. Purple-throated, ruby-throated, fire-crowned. Surprisingly, a hummingbird's colors are not the result of pigments. Instead, they're created by special cells in the feathers that break down light and emit particular wavelengths. Those colors ensure that when the male hummer turns his head, it's the best way to catch her eye. Whatever trick he uses to make himself attractive, if a male is persuasive enough, a female might decide to mate with him. But the relationship won't last. She'll make her home and raise her young alone. Female hummingbirds build their nests with soft bits of leaves, feathers, or lichen, often pasted together with spider webs to make them strong and stretchy. Nests vary enormously, depending on the species and the materials available. In the dense lowland forests of Ecuador, the buff-tailed sicklebill builds hers over a stream for defense against predators. And she attaches it to the underside of a leaf to provide shade. The bronzy Inca lives on the western slopes of the Andes. She uses long strands of moss to bind her nest to a branch. A female usually lays two tiny eggs. The chicks emerge in a couple of weeks. They grow fast on a steady diet of regurgitated nectar and insects. Soon, they're bigger than their mother. And they'll keep on growing until they've nearly outgrown the nest. Even after they fledge, the chicks will still rely on their mother for a while. Once they're finally fending for themselves, they'll lose those fluffy feathers and burn off their baby fat. In the Chiricahua Mountains of southeastern Arizona, some hummingbird moms have come up with a unique strategy for successful nesting. Okay. Biologist Harold Greeny is an expert on the subject. So we just have this small detour right here. He has a talent for finding nests. And it's right in there on that second branch. Can you see it back there? The female black-chinned hummingbird builds her walnut-sized nest on a high tree limb. We'll check it out here. Even way up here, hummingbird nests are vulnerable. Oh, yeah, still got eggs. Subject to attack by a host of marauders. Hummingbird eggs are so small, they're like 